Is it a stylistically a similar matchup to Lemieux, Barry? <laughs> no, I, I don't think. I think um, Murray will close the gap quicker than Lemieux. That's for sure. But I still think that at this stage of their career, for sure, that Saunders is a massive favourite, and, and of course he is. And of course, we talk about Murray should be a world champion, maybe a two-time world champion by now. Because I thought, you know, Sturmey was unlucky. He certainly beat uh, Martinez in Argentina, which was a great performance by him. But you look later, later, you know, that he had a little bit of a, a tussle with Rosado. Mm. And then I know he moved up to super middleweight and he struggled with Abraham, an old Abraham, which he should have beat. And, I, and I'm surprised he didn't beat him. And I think maybe just at this stage of their career, he'll give it a good fight, but you still can't really look beyond any member Saunders for the win. 35 now as well, Murray, isn't he? Yeah, well, yeah, but, but that's nothing anymore in this, yeah. in this era of boxing. And he'll be up for it, and I think he'll give 110%, as he always does. It's actually a really good match, isn't it? We, we mentioned this a few weeks ago before it was announced. Yeah. We were sort of musing about who, and we were saying, well, Murray, he's 10 in the rankings. You know, you can have it as a, as a voluntary. It's a good stepping stone for Billy Joe before the, the next big one. Yeah, and it, and it's, a te it's a dangerous test. You, know, you, you overlook Matt and Murray at your peril, mm -hmm. and Billy will know that. I don't think Martin's not a big puncher, but I think he hits hard with everything. You can't deter him. You know, he's another guy who sticks to a plan like Billy did against, mm -hmm. against Lemieux. So, you know, he's very disciplined and organised and he'd be fit and he'd be strong.